Hi there, this is Harry and welcome back to Advanced English Lessons with Harry where I try to help you to get a better understanding of the English language. And in this Advanced English Lesson we're talking about weather, yeah, so phrasal verbs related to weather. And weather is a really, really important topic here in Ireland and also in the UK. Everybody talks about it. Well, I'm not surprised that the weather is usually pretty bad and when we get it good we like to talk about it anyway and when it's bad we like to talk about it even more. So these phrasal verbs are really, really important, help you to understand what English and Irish people are referring to when they talk about the weather. Okay, so let's get stuck into these. We've got 10 in particular, and I've also got one idiom that's related to weather as well. First one, brighten up. Well, this is a great phrase to ask people, do you think it'll brighten up later on? I'm going out for a run, I'm going out for a walk, or we're going to go for a picnic. I really hope it brightens up, meaning I hope there's even a little bit of blue sky. It doesn't have to be wonderful, but as long as it's not raining. So yeah, I think the weather will brighten up later. The forecast said it would, so perhaps it will. To brighten up means the skies will lift, the clouds will drift away, and perhaps, perhaps, the sun will come out, okay, to brighten up. Cloud over, well, cloud over is a little bit of an opposite of brighten up. So usually when the day starts off nice and sunny, you wake up and the sky is blue, you think, oh, great, it's going to be a really, really good day. But within two hours or just after your breakfast, you look out the window, ah, oh, it begins to cloud over. The clouds are coming in from the north or the west. And before you know it, the sky is completely grey. So when the blue sky is covered by grey sky, we can then use this expression to cloud over. Yeah. So it clouded over very early in the day and it just turned out to be another dull day, another dull day in Dublin Yeah. to cloud over. Clear up. So clear up is when things will change, but change for the better. So you wake up in the morning, there are pools of water on the ground, it's been raining during the night, and maybe there are still a few splashes of rain around, but it's quite evident that there was quite heavy rain. But surprise, surprise, the weather forecast says they expect it to clear up by lunchtime. So there you are, waiting for lunchtime, waiting with your golf clubs, hoping to get out to the golf course to hit that little white ball around the golf course if the weather clears up. So all you're looking for is for the ground to dry a little bit, the sun to come out, make it feel a little bit warm, and you'll feel really, really good. So when the weather clears up, it means the rain stops, the wind dies down, the trees stop moving, you get a little bit of blue sky, the sun peeps through, it warms everybody up, everybody feels good because overall we have a little bit of a clear up in the weather. Warm up. Well, when it warms up, usually the temperature rises. Now, depends where you are, that's what you regard as warm. I was speaking to a student today and she lives in Dubai and she thought it was a little bit chilly where she was because today it was 25 degrees and all of last week it was 35 degrees. Now, when I was talking to her here in Dublin, it was 9 or 10 degrees and if it got to 12 degrees, then I would consider that it would warm up a little bit. So I might not need the second jumper. So it's all relative. Okay. So when the weather warms up, the temperature increases. So maybe it goes from 15 degrees to 18 degrees or 16 degrees to 19 degrees. So you could say, yeah, the weather has warmed up a little bit. And perhaps when you're waiting for the summer and the late spring, the weather over a few weeks will begin to warm up. The temperatures will pick up gradually. So, you know, instead of being on an average of 14 or 15 degrees, it's an average of 16 or 17 degrees. And you can certainly say that the weather has warmed up quite significantly. Now, the opposite is when the weather cools down. And of course, as we get out of the summer and into the autumn, then the weather naturally cools down. So those temperatures, instead of going up, go down. So the average of 18 to 20 during the September period suddenly becomes 16 to 18 on average. And then by the time you get into the end of October or early November, you're down to the low teens, 13, 14, perhaps 15 degrees. So yeah, the weather has begun to cool down. If you're 
enjoying a really hot spell and the temperatures are 25 degrees plus well then when it drops to 20 you can say wow it's great that the weather has cooled down a bit i'll be able to sleep at night because there's nothing worse than trying to sleep when you don't have air conditioning and the temperatures are 25 degrees plus so when it gets back down to 20 you can say yeah the weather has finally cooled down and we can all sleep nice and snug in our beds breakthrough well the sun will usually break through hopefully the sun usually breaks through so yeah you you get up in the morning there's uh, clouds but the clouds are quite high and they're they're quite white they're not dark gray so there's no real rain in the area so you're happy for that and then you see a few openings or breaks in the clouds so you're hoping that at some stage the sun will break through and when it breaks through the air temperature will rise quite quickly and you can enjoy a very nice pleasant early summer morning or afternoon so you can walk in the park with perhaps a light jumper or even just a t-shirt so we all like to see the sun breaking through the rays of sun that hit us the shadows you can see forming on the ground that will tell you instantly that yeah there's a bit of a breakthrough in the weather pick up okay so we like to, to hear the sound words uttered that the weather will pick up next week long-term forecast coming in from the 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 weatherman that the weather is expected to pick up next week we'll have long periods of sunshine some light wind or breezes but generally from next tuesday for the rest of the week you can expect the temperatures to be rising and the temperature will pick up and we'll have some nice sunny days okay so that's a really good long-term long-term forecast to hear because of course you can plan your days you can plan what you're going to wear you can plan what you're going to do in the evenings and at the weekend so a nice pickup in the weather next die down well usually we refer use this when we refer to the wind yeah so here in ireland we get lots and lots of strong winds and they come from nowhere and they come very quickly and they pick up and get quite wild and you can hear the windows rattling and the trees moving but over a period of time the wind uh, the strength of the wind drops and then eventually the wind will die down and disappear so when we use the expression to die down it means that the wind strength gets less and less and eventually it disappears completely and you have a nice quiet peaceful evening and you can go to bed without the windows rattling or the trees brushing against the wall of the house okay so to die down rain can also die down from really heavy rain to perhaps just a little light drizzle or some raindrops but the heavy rain dies down or disappears and as always if you like this particular lesson then please like the video and if you can subscribe to the channel because it really really helps to blow over well, again, when you're living on an island like Ireland or the UK, winds are a very, very important factor. When the wind blows, it usually brings rain and rain clouds with it. But the important issue is that when there's wind, the weather patterns will move quite quickly. So if we have rain for an hour or two hours and there's some wind, it will blow the clouds away. And therefore, we can say that the rain has blown over it has gone so it was heavy rain for the morning but in the afternoon the rain clouds had disappeared they'd blown away and we were left with a, a dry day for the rest of the day so this will soon blow over so if you're used to the weather and you're used to the weather patterns perhaps you can look out of your window you see some rain and some wind and you say ah that will blow over in a couple of hours so it won't be so bad so by one o'clock everything should be okay we can go out for that walk and sure enough one o'clock no wind no rain and off you go so when we talk about something blowing over it means it will last for a little while and then it will disappear and will go on to some other part of the island or across the sea and then finally hold off yeah so when we use that as a phrasal verb to hold off means we hope it won't happen it might eventually but we're hoping that it will hold off for a period until we do something something so perhaps you've got 
a very important wash to do and you want to hang your clothes out to dry and you take a look at the sky and you see it's a bit dark and you say to your partner, hmm, I, hold, I hope that rain will hold off for a couple of hours until I get these clothes dry because there's a strong wind there. So if we get a couple of hours, they'll be dry in no time. So you're hoping and praying and keeping your fingers crossed that the rain that's threatened will hold off, means it will not happen quite as the weatherman expects. So if you read the weather forecast or listen to the weather forecast, they might tell you to expect heavy rain showers throughout the day. But you look at the clouds and if you think it's not going to rain, you run out and put your washing uh, on the line, hoping that that rain will hold off for the period it takes to get your washing dry. Okay, so to hold off. And then finally, as I said, we have an idiom and that idiom is to be snowed in. Now, we use an idiom snowed under when we're talking about our work, which means we've got work right up to our eyes or up to our neck. But in weather terms, when we say we are snowed in, it literally means we can't get out of our house because there's a lot of snow. We don't often get snow and the problem is when we get it, we don't know what to do. Eh? So usually people just stay at home and they don't go to work because they've no winter tires on the cars so they can't drive. Uh, the buses stop because they can't get up the road. The roads are not gritted. There's not enough machinery to clear the snow from the, the streets. So we just stay at home. So if you're lucky enough to be snowed in, meaning you can't get your car at the drive, you can't get to the bus stop, you struggle to get down the street because of deep snow, well then literally that means you are snowed in for that day or half a day or two or three days. But in Ireland, we get those sort of situations once every six, seven years. It doesn't happen so often. But yeah, I've experienced quite a few times when I have been snowed in, but they don't happen so often because I can usually remember all of them. Okay, so to be snowed in. So let me give them to you. Brighten up, cloud over, clear up, warm up, cool down, breakthrough, pick up, die down, blow over, and hold off. So that's our 10 phrasal verbs and the one idiom to be snowed in, snowed in. Okay, so there the useful or super useful phrasal verbs relating to weather. And as I said, it's always a topical conversational piece. So it's, it's important to know what they are. It's important to know what they mean. And it's important to know how you can use them. So practice them, have a look at your weather conditions to see if any of these phrasal verbs are a good description of what you are experiencing. And if you need any help, you know the drill by now, you come back to me, www.englishlessonviaskype.com and I'm very, very happy to help you and to give you more examples where needed. Okay, so this is Harry saying goodbye. Thanks for joining the lesson. Thanks for listening and join me for the next one.